Greetings everybody, welcome back to Weekly Wildlife Wisdom. As so far I've been your host, Zero Yeti. Let's go right into it with the first animal of the week being the bull shark, also known as the Zambezi shark in Africa and the Lake Nicaragua shark in the country of Nicaragua. It is a species of requiem shark commonly found worldwide in warm shallow waters along coasts as well as brackish and freshwater systems including estuaries, lakes, and rivers. The bull shark is a typically solitary creature, and though they are known to briefly team up with other bull sharks to hunt certain prey, especially stingrays. Their diet consists primarily of bony fish, stingrays, smaller sharks including baby bull sharks, but may also include turtles, birds, dolphins, terrestrial mammals, amphibians, crustaceans, and echinoderms. Bull sharks are large and stout with females being larger than males, average around 8 feet in length and 300 pounds in weight, compared to males, which average around 7 feet in length and 200 pounds in weight. Bull sharks are wider and heavier than other requiem sharks of comparable length, and are gray on top with a white underside. The second dorsal fin is smaller than most than the first, and the bull shark's caudal fins are longer and lower than that of, of even larger sharks. It has a large snout, but which lacks an interdorsal ridge. Bull sharks mate during late summer and early autumn, often in bays and estuaries. After a 12-month pregnancy, a mother bull shark may give birth to anywhere from 1 to 13 live pups, typically in nursery habitats such as coastal lagoons, estuaries, and rivers. Male bull sharks typically reach sexual maturity around 15 years of age, and females reach it around 18 years. Under ideal conditions, a bull shark may live upwards of 30 years. Sorry. Next up is the German yellow jacket, also known as the German wasp, or the European yellow jacket, is a species of wasp named throughout Europe, Northern Africa, and temperate Asia. It has spread and become well established in many other places, including the east coast of North America, as well as certain places in California, Argentina, Chile, Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand. The German yellow jacket is a eusocial opportunistic omnivorous insect, which feeds which lives in large colonies led by a queen and feed upon nectar and ripe fruit, as well as scavenging carrion and actively preying upon other insects such as flies, mosquitoes, and caterpillars. The nest is typically sited underground in disused mouse and rat runs, always in shady areas, and, usually, and unusually it may nest above the ground in abandoned structures. The nest is made up of chewed wood fiber mixed with saliva in this grayish color reaching around a diameter of 12 inches uh, and may contain more than 1,000 individuals. Like their name implies, German yellow jackets sport a black and yellow coloration and can be distinguished from other wasp species via the three tiny black spots at the center of their face. Uh, they reach anywhere from a half an inch to about three quarters of an inch in length, uh, depending on if the individual is a drone, a worker, or a queen. <coughs> Sorry. Queens hibernate over winter in some form of shelter, including log piles, roof voids, abandoned buildings, um, hollowed out tree trunks, etc., merging in March to build a proto nest of a few cells from which they lay the first batch of eggs which will emerge as the first workers of the colony about four to six weeks after the eggs are laid. Once the workers emerge, they take over the role of nest building, foraging, and caring for the larvae and pupa, leaving the queen to solely lay eggs. Males and females of the next generation are produced during the summer, and after mating the, the new and after mating the new fertilized queens hibernate, leaving the current males and workers to die before the onset of winter. In European climates, the nest then disintegrates uh, due to the temperature changes. However, in warmer climates, the nest can continue to grow over a number of seasons, resulting in giant, potentially dangerous nests of over 100,000 individuals. <coughs> Sorry. I'm recovering from a cold. Lithocerus americanus, commonly known as the American giant water bug, or simply the giant water bug, is a species of giant water bug in the family Bella stomatidae and the genus Lithocerus, which is native throughout North America from as far north as the Hudson Bay area in Canada to as far south as Tennessee in the United States. 
Reach around 2 to 3 inches in length, they are commonly found in ponds, marshes, and at the edges of lakes and slow moving streams and creeks. Giant water bugs prey on a surprising variety of aquatic life, including amphibians, fish, small reptiles, insects, snails, and crustaceans. Some are known to kill prey many times their own size. They do so by grasping victims with their raptorial front legs before injecting them with venomous digestive saliva, which liquefies the insides of the prey. The adult swims with the aid of its back legs and can survive long periods underwater by breathing the air that it traps under its wings using two snorkel-like tubes that extend from the rear of its abdomen. Commonly known as the toe biter, L. americanus may deliver a painful bite if handled or disturbed. However, it prefers to avoid humans rather than engage them whenever possible. It is also known as the electric light bug and is often attracted to electric lights while flying at night. In spring and early summer, adults mate um, and the female lays a batch of around 100 plus eggs on vegetation or on her male partner's back. The eggs mature over one to two weeks and then hatch in the nymphs. The nymphs, which look like many versions of the adult, Go through five stages of growth called instars, and over the next two months, uh, they'll reach adulthood. Adults overwinter in muddy streams or pool bottoms and may live one to three years. Next up is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, also known as the Texas Diamondback, Texas Rattler, Adobe Snake, Arizona Diamondback Rattlesnake, Desert Diamondback, Desert Diamond Rattlesnake, Fierce Rattlesnake, Spinning Rattlesnake, or buzztail is a rattlesnake species that is native to the southwestern United States and Mexico. They inhabit rocky canyons and lower elevation alpine areas, scrublands, grasslands, pine, oak forests, and true deserts, where they primarily feed upon rodents, moles, jackrabbits, lizards, small birds, and grasshoppers. Western diamondback rattlesnakes are themselves preyed upon by foxes, eagles, roadrunners, coyotes, and owls. Reaching 4 to 7 feet in length and 3 to 15 pounds in weight, they are the second largest venomous snake in North America after the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. The color pattern generally consists of a dusky looking gray brown ground color, but may be also pinkish brown, brick red, or yellowish pinkish or chalky white. This ground color is overlaid dorsally with a series of 23 to 45 dark gray brown to brown colored blotches. They are generally solitary species, which hibernates or brewmates in caves or burrows, sometimes with many other species of snakes. From late October to early March, uh, they are typically dormant. When threatened, they usually coil and rattle to warn aggressors, and they are one of the more aggressive rattlesnake species in the United States, and they will stand their ground when confronted with a foe. If rattling does not work, then the snake will strike in defense. Mating occurs in the fall, and after a 6-7 month pregnancy, Fantasy. Mothers will give birth to 8 to 25 offspring, which are independent from birth and under different conditions. A Western Diamondback Rattlesnake will reach sexual maturity by three years of age and may live for upwards of 20 years. The Australian tiger beetle, uh, Rivena sendella hudsoni, also known as C. sendella hudsoni, is a species of tiger beetle in the family C. sendella. Uh, which is native to southern and central Australia. They are a diurnal and flightless species which inhabit salt flats, sand dunes, and the shores of salt lakes where they feed upon other arthropods such as gnats, caterpillars, small spiders, and ants. They are themselves occasionally eaten by large spiders, lizards, and birds. Reaching around 2 centimeters in length as adults, the beetle's limbs are long and dextrous, and the body is stocky with the forewings being fused to the hind wings and hardened to form a protective layer known as the Aeltra. Uh, the head is has two large eyes, a pair of filiform antenna, and mouth, which sports a pair of sickle-like mandibles with teeth arranged along its length. Upon detecting prey, adults run at, run at said prey and crush it in their mandibles. The Australian tiger beetle is the world's fastest land insect, capable of reaching 5.6 miles per hour when sprinting. While this may not seem fast when compared to its size, it is nearly unbelievable. If the Australian tiger beetle were the size of an adult person, it would be capable of running faster than the speed of sound, over 767 miles per hour. In fact, this beetle runs so fast that its brain doesn't have sufficient time to process any of its given surroundings before passing it. Simply put, when running, the tiger beetle temporarily goes blind. After a 9-29 day incubation period as an egg, the Australian tiger beetle hatches as a burrowing larvae. <coughs> which digs and resides in tunnels, anchoring themselves in a substrate via a pair of hooks on its back. 
It is here that they move through their three larval development stages known as instars. The larvae of the tiger beetle is actually more aggressive than the adults, killing and devouring nearly any smaller creature that it comes across. After around 30 days as larvae, they then metamorphosize into an adult, which may live upwards of a year. Next up is the Asian giant hornet. Also known as the Asian murder hornet, a giant sparrow bee, or the northern giant hornet, is a species of wasp in the genus Vespa, which is native throughout Russia, Japan, China, North and South Korea, Taiwan, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar, India, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. Here they inhabit both temperate and tropical deciduous and evergreen forests. They are an omnivorous species, uh, which simply preys upon other insects such as beetles, mantids, hornworms, butterflies, and other hornet and wasp species, and in particular they hunt honey and bumblebees. The males supplement their diet with tree sap, fruit nectar, and honey stolen from the bees. Uh, with workers reaching around one inch in length, drones around one half inches, and queens at upwards of two inches, the Asian giant hornet is the largest species of hornet on earth. Regardless of sex, the hornet's head is typically a light shade of orange. It's a ten eye brown with a yellowish orange base. Its eyes are dark brown to black, and the thorax is dark brown, with two gray wings and abdomens that alternate between brands of dark brown or black uh, and a yellow orange. Its stinger is typically a one quarter inch long and delivers a potent venom that, in cases of multiple hornet stings simultaneously, can kill a human. The nest is found by a queen who selects a suitably sheltered site, such as a hollowed out tree or abandoned animal burrow, where she begins to build herself a nest of chewed up bark. These nests contain a series of single cells, which together create the well-known honeycomb effect. Once having built her nest in the spring, the fertilized queen lays a single egg in each of the cells, which then hatch within a week. The Asian giant hornet larvae undergo a five-stage changing process known as metamorphosis in order to get to their adult form. This takes around 14 days, at which point the hive has its first generation of workers that ensure the colony as a whole is well maintained. By the by late summer, the population colony is at its peak around 700. The queen then begins to fertilize female and lay fertilized female eggs and non-fertilized male eggs. Males leave their hive once they have reached adult form and usually die once mated. The workers and current queens tend to die out in autumn, leaving the young fertilized queens to survive the winter and begin the process again next spring. And our extinct animal week is Dilophosaurus. <coughs> This is a genus of theropod dinosaurs that lived throughout what is North America during the Sumerian stage of the early Jurassic period, some 199 to 190 million years ago. First remains of Dilophosaurus, consisting of three partial skeletons, were first found near Tuba City on the Arizona portion of the Navajo Indian Reservation by tribal counselors Jesse Williams and John Witherill in 1940. In 1942, the duo brought a field party from the University of California Museum of Paleontology led by paleontologist Charles L. Camp, to the site. Over the following weeks, the UCMP team would fully excavate two of the skeletons and take them back to their museum where they would be cleaned and mounted. In 1954, paleontologist Samuel P. Wells... <coughs> God, I'm so sorry. Officially described and named this dinosaur as a new species existing in the genus Megalosaurus, being M. Weatheray, uh, with the specific name honoring John Wetherill. However, over the next decade, two additional more complete specimens would be recovered, causing Wells to revisit and redescribe uh, the animals, giving them the new genus named Dilophosaurus, meaning two crested lizard in Greek. Over the following decade, seven more specimens would be recovered throughout the American Southwest, reaching 1923 feet in length, four and a half to seven feet tall, and 600 to 900 pounds in weight. Dilophosaurus was one of the earliest large predatory dinosaurs. The snout was narrow, and the upper jaw had a gap or kink below the nostril. It had a pair of longitudinal arch crests on its skull. Their complete shape is unknown, but they were probably enlarged by keratin. It sported a long neck, big, powerful four-fingered arms, and equally powerfully built hind legs. And like Dilophosaurus would have inhabited the Badlands and River Rhine Woodland, which made up what is now the Cayenta Formation. Acting as an apex predator, feeding upon fish, invertebrates, synapsids, turtles, crocodilians, pterosaurs, and dinosaurs, such as Scutellosaurus, Heterodontosaurus, and Sahara-Cerosaurus. Anyway, take care to my guys, gals, non-binary pals. Hope you enjoyed it.